Okay, so I know I told you guys that uh, I'm using loop to close the loop between Dexcom and my Medtronic and my phone and also my Apple Watch, but I'm going to show you what the app actually looks like. Here is loop down here and there's Dexcom and oh, hmm, beyond type one. Ding! This is what the app looks like. Up here is the loop. You notice that it's yellow. That means that it has only completed the loop as of six minutes ago. This is my current blood glucose. This is the most recent amount of insulin that the pump gave me. It was 0.9. This is how much insulin is left in my pump right now. And then this one right here is the battery. This is the AAA battery that is in my pump. All of this up top is basically just the heads up. So you notice this here, it says recommended basal and it's saying that's how much I should get right now. And if I tap it, see that little progress thing is waiting and it will actually then give. And this whole area here is my glucose. This is based off my Dexcom. That's what my current numbers are. But you see where this dotted hash line changes? That is my predicted glucose based off of what I have going right now. This blue line across the bottom is my target range. I have it set right now at about 90. This is the amount of insulin that I have going through my system right now that's still active. This area right here is the active carbohydrates. That's what I've got. So my dinner is basically done right around 10 o'clock. The fork is where you enter carbohydrates. These little triangles are where you give yourself a bolus of insulin. This heart is where you set your workout patterns. And then this is your settings for loop itself. And if you rotate it sideways, you can see that this is definitely much more of a detailed view. These two triangles are where I gave myself a bolus of insulin and the the rest of this is actually a temporary basal. Anything here above the line, like these right here, means it gave a temporary basal. This means it suspended it. This area right here is where I was actually outside doing yard work and leaves, and it noticed that, so it suspended the insulin so that I wouldn't go too low. Brilliant! This is where you enter carbohydrates. So if I said I took something and I ate 22 grams of carbohydrates, but I wanted to change the absorption time, you can say, hey, here's how long these carbs are gonna be in your body. This is basically two hours, this is three hours, and that is four hours. So the higher fat content has four hours, the lower fat content has only two hours. You can put in whatever you want. As soon as I hit save, it's actually going to recommend a certain amount of insulin. So you notice it is recommending 2.12 units of insulin. And if I put that in, 2.12 units of insulin. And as soon as I hit deliver, it's not going to do it unless I put my fingerprint down here. It will not give me the insulin unless I do it. So I don't actually even touch my pump anymore. I do all of my bolus and all of my insulin right here from this app. I'm gonna hit cancel because that's not real. When you tap in here for glucose, it will show you your predicted glucose. It says that this hash point says that it is eventually going to be 105. It just changed to 114. This is the algorithm that the app is running in the background. Carbs, insulin, glucose, momentum, and then retrospective correction, which means it can aggressively go back and notice that when your glucose movement doesn't match the carbs and the insulin that you have, it's saying, wait a minute, you need a little bit more. Maybe there were more carbohydrates in what you ate, and so you need to be able to have this active so it can give you a little bit more based off of what you've eaten, not what you said you've eaten. So this is a lie detector right down here. So Loop is right here on my phone. And remember, I've got Riley Link going here, which is the connection between everything. There's one more thing that is really, really cool I gotta show you. So here's the fun part. This also has Apple Watch integration, and this is Loop right up here in the top left-hand corner. If I tap it, it will open it up, and it mirrors what is on the phone. Here is the best part. If you force touch, you can enter carbs and bolus right from your watch. All the same features are right here. You'll notice I can enter carbohydrates, or I can give a bolus right here from my watch and you can add units so you could actually give yourself insulin from your watch. What a time to be alive.